and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today, I'm in Idaho. We've moved, we're here in Idaho, and I'm here rock hounding in my first area. We're in this beautiful valley up here, up uh, uh, northwest of Arcos, the next valley over. And up here, um, because I drove the car for comfort's sake, and this is my first time out here, um, where I'm trying to get to is the Red Hill. It's back over there a fair bit, but a lot of the stuff washes off down into this little valley here, so I'm gonna search this valley first. This is gonna be my first of probably many trips out here. The Red Hill's known for some agates and jaspers, and occasionally these nodules or geodes filled with amethyst. So I'm excited to look out here and see what we can find. So I'm just gonna start here today. Maybe I'll give a hike up there. Maybe I can hike over to the Red Hill. I'm not sure how far away we are from it. Might be too little, too far away. I might have to come out here again later with the Montero at some point to get myself a little closer to the hill. But the stuff could be anywhere out here. This is exciting, never been out here. New place. Oh, and here's the GPS coordinates of where we parked in case I find anything good up here. Okay, let's get looking around and see what we can find. Okay, I just walked down here into the wash. All right, first impressions, what do we see? Well, immediately I see this cool volcanic rock. It's got some nice green on it and red. Got some uh, basalt, limestone. Oh, another interesting looking volcanic rock. So multiple different volcanics. Oh, and that looks like Chalcedony. I'm not gonna call it an agate yet because I don't see any banding in it, but it is definitely Chalcedony. <laughs> it's a good start. Right off the bat. And this is in the wash, uh, a little bit removed from the Red Hill. So the Red Hill is kind of the place that's known for the deposits of Jasper and Agate. So good start. And I may even want to try and break open some of this volcanic to see what we got. Let's do that. Let's break open some volcanics. Here's that Chalcedony close up. Pretty cool. Now I broke open this rock right here, the one that was that red and green. That's what it looks like on the inside. The green, probably a mixture of some metals, like copper, maybe iron, other things in it. Really cool. I broke this one open, and this one, see the green in that one? So that might be a higher concentration of more copper or other metals like that. And nice little pocket here in the basalt. Maybe it had something in that at one time. But yeah. So far, the rock's just looking pretty neat. The volcanics, anyway. All right, I just found this interesting piece of jasper here on the edge. Look at that green on that side. This is like a little layer of green. And then this neat jasper down here, which is a mixture of yellow, brown, and some greenish. That's pretty cool. And I found it up here on the lip. So down in the wash area, it's full of a lot of stuff, so it's kind of hard to see some of the rocks. But I came up here up on the edge, and this might actually end up proving a little better. Maybe I'll walk across this area instead. So here's a tiny bit of green jasper. So this is what I, when I was researching, is kind of the jasper that people are looking for up here, is the really nice greenish jasper. And I've seen it come in, you know, large blocks of it, which probably come off the hill itself, so I gotta get up to the hill itself. But still cool just seeing what's down here in the washes. Here's a piece of limestone with some uh, coral in it. This is kind of something I'm really familiar with in Idaho. You got a lot of limestones and there'll be sections where they have corals in it. Corals are pretty abundant in lots of places. Neat stuff though. And there you go. More corals in limestone. They are all over. Just walking across this limestone and boom. Some more chalcedony right there. Nice chunk of it. Not agate though, there's no banding in it. It's just a big chunk of chalcedony, but it's still cool. I still like things like this. Now this looks different. <laughs> so this is kind of a jasper, not a good one. It's a low grade, but it's a big chunk of the jasper. That's evidence of what we're looking for up on the hill. So I decided not to follow the wash. I was close enough to the Red Hills. I'm like, I'll just walk up to them. So here they are right in front of us. As I get closer, the limestone is disappearing. The volcanics are becoming dominant. And look at that, 
chalcedony, plus I've seen lots of little bits of jasper all over. So it's already getting better. See, there's a little bit of the green and some jasper right there too. So already getting better. Oh, there's some more chalcedony right there. So yeah. Here's this one cut open. Oh, wow. That is neat for a small one. Look at that. Oh, that's really cool. The pieces are getting more interesting. Look at that. Chalcedony with some of that green on it. Yeah, that's really cool. I think I'll keep that piece. Okay, so far all the pieces of chalcedony I've seen have all been that same color. I believe we found something different. Oh. Okay, kind of a jasper agate mix. I think I saw another one up here, yes. Right here. Huh. Yeah, that's getting into more of a kind of a jasper agate mix. Kind of a root beer color. Okay, nice. As I get further, getting bigger pieces of the chalcedony. And the forms are really cool because they're filling in the gas pockets in the uh, volcanic units. They can have some really cool shapes. Anyway, getting better. Here's this one cut open. Okay, cool. Ooh, I like the, the bubbly looking parts right there. So I saw that sticking out of the ground. I was like, is that just a little one? No, it ended up being a, <laughs> a big piece just like the other ones. So yeah, the trend is continuing. Bigger pieces. What is that? Wait, what? Oh my goodness. Do you see that? Oh my gosh. I think I think we're starting to find some real stuff. Whoa. Wow. Now that is an agate. <laughs> oh, I'm getting excited now. Oh, I can feel my <laughs> heart pumping now. Okay. All right, more of those. Where did that come from? Here's this one cleaned off. Look at that. Beautiful. Maybe it'll look better this way. <laughs> and I went ahead and cut it open too. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Very nice agate. So here's even a small piece I just found that's got that banding layer in it. So I think a lot of the pieces are turning more agate in this area. Oh boy, um, is that one? Yeah, any banding in it? Hmm, can't tell. Hmm, I don't know. Might have to start keeping everything now, I don't know. <laughs> Here's one, let's check it out. Oh, yep, I can see some banding going in there, so we'll, uh, we'll have to cut into that. I believe I saw something else right here. Look at that yellow surface and the banding again. Oh, and right here. I like the little hole in it, that's cool. Here's this one cut open. Okay, interesting. Here's this one cut open. Oh, nice. It's got the banding right on the edge. That's about it. Yeah, most of them are these thin little pieces. But I see something hiding in the bushes right here. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That'll be fun to cut into. Oh, I think there's another one hiding right here. Eh, more of a thin piece. That's nice. Here's this one cut open. Oh, yes, it's got the layers in it. Very nice. Yeah, I think we got some good things here. That looks like it. Yep, there's the uh, agate going through it. You can't see it very well. And I, I didn't bring a spray bottle with me. I forgot to bring a spray bottle. So sorry about that. I'll get home and get these cleaned off. But this also looks like something, potentially. Huh. This is a little different. It's like little splotches of stuff all over. I'll take that back, clean it off. Maybe cut it up too. Here's this one cut open. 
Oh, interesting. It's like a rocket ship. <laughs> really cool. Here's this one cut open. Ooh, look at that green in there. I like those patterns too. Oh, I see something right here too. Oh, it's big. Oh boy. Yeah. Any banding? Yep, there it is. Oh, oh, I'm really liking this place. Oh, that's so cool. After a quick scrub, that's what this is looking like. Very nice. Yeah, once you get the dirt off of it, you can really see how neat it is. And I am gonna cut this, but I need to wait for a bigger saw before cutting something this thick. Just found this piece. This looks different, kind of like that other weird one. We'll have to clean that off and cut into that one too. Here's this weird piece cut open. Okay, interesting. Another decent looking piece. I'm just standing here, I see one over there, one there, and something big up there. Let's walk to each of them. This little thing, nice. Some good banding in there. And what did I see over here? That. Okay, nice to cut into that. Kind of looks like a nodule. Oh, I just saw another one down here. Oh, two. Okay, that's more of a layer, as is that. All right. Oh, look at that one. Oh, that's good banding. Okay. Better than a lot of the other ones. Very nice. I've seen lots of little pieces. Not sure if any of these are any good, though. Those are really small. Let's get to this big one, though, that I saw up here. <laughs> okay. Nice little quartz pocket growing into that. And here's another piece of it. Wow. Look at all these pieces all over. All of this. This is neat. Uh, that's so cool. We, we could get some really nice quartz crystals probably in some of these big ones. Here's this one cut open. Ooh, that's cool. Maybe put some shadow on it. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, look at that with the shadow. That is really neat though. Look at that. Here's this one cut open. Nice, had a little pocket in it. So here's this thin piece cut open. Oh, that looks cool too. Very nice. Here's this one washed off. Look at that. You got this cool banding on the edges and then look at all those quartz crystals all growing in together. That is a neat piece. Okay, I'm not sure if it filmed. I may not have clicked it quite right, but I just pulled that hunker out. That's exciting. Get that cleaned off, probably cut it. I need a bigger saw, but get it cut into. And another one of these kind of weird ones off to the side. But that's, that's exciting. Okay, these just look like two little ones, but I wonder if it's bigger than it seems. Let's just try. Let's see. Now nah, they are what they seem, just little ones. Sometimes the shape is just as cool as having banding in it. This one I don't see any banding really, but the shape is so cool. And a nice piece next to it with some good banding in it. Right there. Nice. Here's this one cut open. You already know it's going to be nice. And, yeah, not quite as many lines going through as I thought, but still very good. That's a nice looking chunk. Definitely think that's worth cutting into. There is something over there very white. Let's go take a closer look at it. Oh, yeah, you can see some banding on the edge of it. That is really white. It's so different from most of the stuff. Also some good looking pieces here. Ooh. Quartz crystals. Uh, I want I want to get one that's not broken that I can expose the quartz crystals. That has some on it too. That's the better one right there. Quartz crystals. Here's this one washed off. 
Nice quartz crystals. I mean, there's still a lot to wash off. I just did a quick, quick scrub, just so we could see it better. Another one with quartz crystals on it. We really need to get these cleaned off. Here's this one washed off. Look at those nice quartz crystals. Very nice. Boy, is that the largest one we've found so far? Let's take a look. No, not quite, it's kind of thin, but still really cool. And who knows how good it'll look when I get it cleaned off. We'll have to see. Okay, I'll wash this off a little bit just so we can see a little better. It's a nice quartz pocket there. I do need to do a much better clean with this with getting uh, all that lichen off of it, but for now, still pretty cool. Okay, looks like we got a good spot with banding. So I see that one and look at that one right there. Oh, I'm excited for that one. And what about right here? Any banding on that? Oh, yep. Kind of those layers. Oh, man, it's getting good. Well, it's, all, it's been good for a while, but it just keeps giving. Here's this one cut open. Ooh, look at that. <sighs> That's nice. Very nice. Here's this one cut open. You can see the lines in that. Oh yeah. Look at that. Okay, first one with a botryoidal surface. Not much, but it's something. Now that one, it's all green. That's really cool, that's different. Yeah, hold on to that. Another decent sized piece. Yeah, nice. There's this big one cut open. Nice. Look at that. And that. Now that one looks like it has some blue color to it. Probably just the lighting, but I don't know. Let's get that out. Oh, oh, it's big. Oh, it had a quartz pocket right there. <laughs> That's cool. Get that cleaned off. Just picked up this one. Looks like it's pretty much a complete one, so I'm excited to cut into that. Oh boy. Here's this nodule cut open. Oh, very nice. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just found another one with a nice quartz pocket in it. Ah, I need to get big one of these unbroken so I can cut it. Here's this after just a quick scrub, just so we can see those quartz points a little better. Nice. Okay, I just found some different things. So here's one that filled in with calcite in the middle. That's the first time today I've seen calcite, so it must not be very common. And look at this. This one's got a lot of the green on it. So it's the agate in the middle, but it still has a lot of that green coating on the outside, which is really cool. What do we have here? Oh, it's a chunker. Whoa. Whoa. Very different. Huh. I can't see most of it. I'm going to have to really get it cleaned off, but this is very different looking. I like this. This might be really cool. Here's this strange one cut open. Oh, oh look at that kind of weird greenish blue in it. Huh. Very interesting. Okay, I'm starting to head back to car because my pack's getting heavy, but I found this piece of Jasper just sitting there. So getting some Jasper now too. Another little piece of Jasper. Looks like we're in a zone where we're going to get some of the Jasper. Okay, another piece of Jasper. On my way back to the car, found this piece of Jasper. It's really dark. It looks almost like obsidian, but it's Jasper. Here's this one cut open. A little bit of it broke off. And, ooh, there's some neat things going on in there. Here's this one cut open. Okay, it had a little pocket in it. 
You can see the banding in it, but it's really faint. Here's this one cut open. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that one. That is really neat. Here's this one cut open. Ooh, I like that. Wow, look at the patterns going on in there. That is so cool. Here's this one cut open. Decided to cut it twice. Ooh, nice. Cool. Yes. Turned out very nice. And I'm almost back to the vehicle. There it is. So what a good day. Wow. First time out here and uh, I can't wait to come back. I just barely scratched the surface. All I did was touch those first two little lobes of the lower foothills of the Red Hill and found that. What else is hiding up in those hills? I can't wait to see. And I haven't even seen the stuff washed off or cut open yet. So I'm, I can't, I'm looking forward to that. And I've, I've seen some things that have come off that hill that are just stunning. So ooh, I can't wait to get back here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm excited to be here in Idaho and I, I'm excited to get out rock hunting again. Until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.